In this video we are going to discuss, the rock cycle, how rocks are born and reborn. Every rock has lived many lives. Pick up a simple pebble from a riverbed or gaze upon a towering mountain cliff. You are holding or beholding a silent storyteller. These are not merely inert lumps of matter. They are archives of immense history, shaped by fire water wind and unimaginable pressure over millions even billions of years. If these stones could speak, what tales would they tell? Would they whisper of the earth's fiery birth? Or perhaps recount the slow, patient journey from a mountain's peak to the bottom of a vast, ancient sea? The story of many rocks begins in fire and fury. Deep within the earth, our planet holds a heart of molten rock called magma. It is a seething superheated realm under immense pressure, a place of unimaginable power. When this magma finds a pathway to the surface, perhaps through a volcano, it erupts as lava, a glowing river of liquid stone. This is the birth of an igneous rock. The term igneous itself comes from the Latin word for fire, a fitting name for a rock born from such a dramatic and explosive origin. It is the Earth's raw material, the primary stuff from which other rocks are often made. Imagine the sight, a volcano, silhouetted against the sky, spewing fountains of incandescent lava.